Hai Shafika. Happy Idul Adha. My friends are here. Hello guys. Salam Idul Adha to you too. What do you have there? Oh, I brought my grandma's famous rendang tok for you today. I love rendang tok. Guess what's in this bakus? Yeah. I think maybe some kuih? Yes, yeah. nyonya kuih and dim sum. Oh, I think our guests are going to have so much fun having so much food today. Yes, you look like you have a lot of food too. I do actually. We have, um, let's find out later. Definitely. And then we'll share them together first. Alright, sure. Can't wait. Dede TV, KPM. Hello, Assalamualaikum, Salam Sejahtera and a very good morning to everyone. I'm Shafika Farahin Razali, your host for today's Teruka Didit TV KPM. And today we'll be learning Bahasa Inggeris, specifically Pendidikan Civic for Culture and Food. So as you know just now, you saw a lot of variety of food on the table. So we'll find out more about that later, but first, Let's introduce our teachers for today. That was with us just now, Miss Nazira and also Miss Suji. Hello, everyone. Hello, welcome to the studio, teachers. Thank you Thank for having you. us. Of course, it's lovely to have you here wearing your traditional clothes. Very nice in kebaya and also, what is the outfit called, teacher? Oh, this is actually a modern take on baju kurung with oh. the uh, baju melayu collar. Wow, it looks so nice, teacher. Thank I you. love the color. Thank you. Okay, so maybe perhaps you can introduce yourself. So first, uh, starting with Miss Nazira. Hello everyone, I'm Miss Nazira and I'm teaching SK Putrajaya Physics 91 and I'm an English teacher. Wow, okay, Miss Suji. Hi everyone, I'm Suji. I'm teaching in SK Putrajaya Prisin 81. Okay, so teachers, today we're learning about culture and food, right? But before anything, I would like to uh, ask you to wear our hand sanitizer mm -hmm. for the purpose of SOP because we still haven't won against the COVID-19. Thus, I invite you to always practice the SOP in our studio and also for you out there, always wear your mask when you leave your house. Maintain a social distance of at least one meter between each other and always wash your hands frequently if you don't have uh, water source nearby, please wear a hand sanitizer like me and also our lovely teachers for today. And also, before we start anything, let me first introduce our lovely students that will be joining us today for Troke, okay? Let's have the kids on the plasma right here. Hi kids, hello everyone. Hi, how are you? Ooh, uh, maybe you can turn on your mics, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Okay, we're not. Ah, there, there you go. go. Is is that Steve? I'm hearing. Hi, Steve. You're looking very lovely today. Okay. Hi, Steve. Can you introduce yourself, please? Hello. I am Steve Santi Chirpen. I'm from Putrajaya. Okay, all right, Steve. You have a very lovely outfit there. I think it's called a jupa, teacher. Is that is that a jupa? Yes, it is. Ah, okay, you look very lovely. Thank you for ha being with us here. And next, can we have is that Arda, matching with your mom? You look very nice today. Hi. Hello, Adra. Hello, Adra. Can you hear me? Maybe. Is your mic? Ah, okay. Okay. All right, I think uh, Adra has a bit of... Uh, we can't really hear your voice. But it's okay. Um, she, uh, our Adra is also a student for Miss... Uh, Miss Nazira. 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 Okay. All right, next. Can we have the next student? Hello. Hi, welcome. Hi, Divya. Can you introduce yourself? Good morning everyone. My name is Divya Sri Anna Pompan Gonisegren. I'm from class Kinder Jupiter, SKPP Lapan Satu Putra Jaya. Wow. It's very nice to meet you all. It's so nice to meet you too. Thank you so much. And then last but not least, can we have who's next? Aiden. Aiden, yeah. of course. Hi Aiden. Hi. Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. My name is Ben Kalistiman Ben Shawal Nizam. I am studying at Sekolah Kebangsaan Putrajaya Presin 91. 
I love to eat chicken curry. How are you feeling today? Oh, oh. I'm feeling good. The teachers, are you feeling good? I'm definitely yeah, I'm feeling, feeling good. Awesome. Okay, he just gave us a hint that he likes chicken, chicken curry. curry. <laughs> wow, I love chicken curry too. Okay, so before we start anything, teachers, of course we'd like to know more about what we're learning today. And of course the kids are excited. Are you excited, kids? Give me a thumbs up if you're excited to learn to explore on the topic today. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, teachers, the floor is yours. All right, so today we are going to explore a bunch of foods in Malaysia. And today, this is our lesson objective. So the first lesson objective is going to be exploring all the different kinds of food and culture in Malaysia. And second, we are going to express the feeling of respect towards the food and culture. And last but not least, we're going to practice respect at for all the foods in Malaysia. All right. So in Malaysia, we really love our food. We build relationships through food and we even greet each other by saying, have you eaten? So I'm sure this um, lesson today is going to be very exciting and I'm sure you can't wait, but we are going to have a short break. We'll see you after that. Okay, teachers, let's do it. Then now that you've told mentioned to the kids, let's have a short <laughs> break and we'll be right back on Thuroka DDTV KPM. KPM DD TV KPM Hello kids, welcome back to Teroke at DD TV KPM and today we will be learning Bahasa Inggris specifically pendidikan civic, culture and food which yeah. we have all on the tables, right teacher? Already, it's all ready for us to eat, but not yet. Okay, kids, we'll be uh, learning a bit first, and then we'll go straight to that. Okay, teacher, uh, Miss Nazira, and also uh, Miss Suji, you can start with the lesson today. Oh, but before that, mm -hmm. I heard there was a birthday girl today. Yes, Do we have, have a birthday, birthday girl. girl in the house. Okay, can you introduce yourself? I don't want to mention the name. Hello, birthday girl. Can you introduce yourself first? My name is Nurul Sada. You can call me Ada. And I am from S. Sign One Putrajaya. And I'm excited. Here today. I'm excited to have you too and happy birthday! Happy birthday, Adra! Happy birthday! Thank you. Oh, okay, that's very sweet. Okay, Adra. Um, teachers, we can start with the lesson already. Alright, so what Miss Suji said before is totally true. We are a uh, we are a culture, we have a culture where we like to share and experience each other's food from other culture as well. But I need to ask you a question. Why is it important that we learn uh, about other people's food and culture? Hmm. Now, can I have uh, one of the students answer me? Why is it important that we know about other people's culture? Yes, why is it important? Who would maybe. like to try? Right, maybe. Hmm. Okay, can I have... Oh, I see Divya putting up her hand. Wow. Divya, do you want to answer, Divya? Go ahead. As if you learn about other people's culture food, you get to taste some new food and it might be yummy. Yes, wow. definitely. If we get to try and then maybe we get new food that we can have every single day. Um, right. How about another one? Can we have another one? Yes. Uh, maybe Aiden. Aiden. Why is it important to know? Yes. We build friendship through sharing our food. Wow. Oh, that is true. Real sweet response. I like your answer, Aiden mm -hmm. and Divya, because that is what we are going to do today. We are going to be testing different cultural foods. That's what I'm looking forward yes. to, actually. Before that, what is your favorite food from another culture, Miss Shafika? Miss, okay, that's me. Um, I actually like cheese naan. Wow, mm, that's a good and one. you, Miss Nazira. Oh, I love chi chong fun from the Chinese culture. Definitely mm. my favorite. Oh. Will we be tasting cheese naan and chi chong fun today? Kids, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what food you? do you think we'll be sampling today, Steve? Right. Do you have an idea of what food you'll be tasting today? Aha. Uh -huh. 
Nasi lemak. Nasi lemak. Nasi wow. Lemak. And how about Adra? What food do you think we'll be tasting today? <laughs> Sorry? Uh huh. Again? What's please? that, Adra? Dumpling. Dumplings? Wow, okay. that's a good wow. guess though. Definitely yeah. you will not be having nasi lemak. <laughs> but before the lesson, you were each given a mystery box. Wow. Can you show it on the screen? Okay. Yes. Please show it on I the see? screen. Wow, I can see your mystery box. Oh, wow. Okay, very good. We are going to be tasting some food today. Okay. Right, teachers. Uh, before we start tasting any food, kids, of course, we have to uh, let our audience know that our teachers, Miss Nazira and also Miss Suji, will be tasting the food. That is why they are not wearing masks at the moment. So, uh, to be able to taste the food. And then later on, when we're, we're done with that, we'll practice it as a okay. As now, as you can see, we're maintaining a social distancing of at least one meter between each other. All right, teachers, we can go on now. <laughs> All right, thank you, Miss Shafika. Remember, kids, SOP is very important. All right, so before we start, okay, I want every student to please open up your mystery box and then we're going to take out the food that is labeled A. Can everyone open up your box? Wow. Okay, and take out the food is that is labeled A uh -huh. and then show it to the camera so that everyone can see what you got. Wow, wow what is that? All right, great. That? Okay, now maybe can you this get one? a bite? Yeah, can everyone please get a bite? Mmm, mm. all Such right. In the morning. Okay, I'm going to ask, hmm, I think I'm going to pick Steve. Steve, you look like you're enjoying that. Do you know what that is? It is Kuih Baru. It's a traditional Malay Kuih. That's wow. correct. Good job, Chief. That is Kuih Bahulu. Miss Shafika, yes. do you know when do we eat Kuih Bahulu? Um, usually, when I go to someone's house for raya, uh -huh. they will serve that as a uh, part of the Kuih. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And also, you can get Kuih Bahulu during weddings. But I yes. want to know, hmm, how does it taste like? Maybe we can ask Adra. Adra, how does it taste like? Adra, perhaps right now is thinking about her birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Alright, Adra, what does it taste like? It's sweet. It's sweet. sweet. Yes, it is. Now, Aja, have you ever seen it in a different form? Now, right now, you have the flower. Have you ever seen it in a different uh, shape? shape? Yep. Okay, what was it? Fish. Oh, fish. a fish. And a fish is a very special bahulu that you can get. Mm -hmm, yeah. All right. That's why kids love bahulu. Yeah. They, look, they have different uh, shapes and sizes as well. Yes, yeah. definitely. It's a great gift, especially if you go to someone's house, you can bring bahulu as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So, we're going to test the second food item. So, the second food item. Now, everyone, please take out and then show it to the camera. What do you guys have? Is it uh, B? Yes, yes. Uh, food label yes, B. B. Label B. B. Wow. Yes. What is that? Okay, Divya, can you please describe the food? Mine looks very pretty. Oh. It's black and the normal colour. It has some carvings on it. Is it the mooncake? Yes, wow. it is the mooncake. How about Aiden? Aiden, ah. can I get some... Uh, what do you think? Do you like the mooncake, Aiden? Okay. Can we have Aiden's mom try it as well? Oh yes. Ah. Give some to your mom. Share it. Yes, Definitely. He's eating alone there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it, Aiden? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you ever tried mooncake before? No. No. <laughs> All right, Aiden. Do you know when the Chinese uh, people eat mooncakes? Uh, the, the mooncake is from the Chinese culture. Usually, they eat it during the Mooncake Festival. Wow. That's right, Aiden. You are correct. Mm -hmm. Extra trivia. Do you know when is the Mooncake Festival or Meat Autumn Festival oh. celebrated this year? Okay, when Ooh, is that? I need to know. <laughs> it I is on the 21st well. of September. Ah. Okay, so you can see the Mooncake during the Meat Autumn Festival. Okay, Very teachers, good. I noticed that just now the Balu has different uh, shapes and sizes like the fish, but mm -hmm. the Mooncake has also different colours. 
Yes, yes, it actually has different feelings. Uh -huh. So what you receive today, actually, uh -huh. you see one with a yolk in the middle, oh, and one goodness. is just um, I a think it's pandan, pandan lotus. Yeah. Yes, oh, it's yeah. pandan lotus. So wow. you'll see many different feelings inside your mooncake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a, a, a bit of a variety there. Okay. Well All done, right. children. I hope you like it. Now you can take out the food label C. Would you like to show the camera what did you get? Mm. Food label C. Okay, very good. You want to have a bite? Maybe Someone I will is smelling ask. It. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will ask. Whoops. <laughs> Atra first. What do you think of this? Do you know what this is? Mm -hmm. This is the right? Yes. This sweet. Oh, it tastes sweet. Oh, spot on, Adra. Uh -huh. This is the ladu. It tastes sweet. Do you know which culture is this from? Maybe I ask Aiden. What do you think? Aiden. What is it? From the Indian. Yes, it's from the Indian culture. Do you like it? Yeah. What does it taste like to you? It's sweet. It's ah. sweet. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you, Aiden. So there are sweet food. Yeah, there are many different types of ladu actually. Ladu is primarily made out of flour, mm -hmm. sugar and ghee. The one that you are tasting right now is called the ghee ladu. It's okay. orange in color. Okay, ah. how about let's try food D. Would you like to take out yes. food D and show the camera what did you get? This is my favourite, I think. Oh, look at that, it looks so yes. nice. Okay, Did you maybe get we something can... like this? Okay, uh -huh. you can have a taste, have maybe a taste. Maybe you can uh, maybe give a bite to your parents. Let them have a taste. Oh, <laughs> that looks so nice. Uh -huh. If they like it or not, you can ask them. Very good. Steve, what do you think of this food? <laughs> Steve is enjoying it. How does the food taste like, Steve? It tastes like pineapple. pineapple. Oh, that's right. Wow. It's pineapple flavoured. You got that right. Do you know which culture makes this? Um, let me ask Divya. Do you know which culture makes um, this food? This is the Sarawakians, right? They steam the cake. Oh, yes, right. Divya, you're right. Wow. So this is called the cake lapis. You have mm -hmm. many layers and it takes a lot of time and effort to steam it. You can see it. You can see the layers on your cake lapis. It looks very nice, teachers. Yes, mm -hmm. there are also many flavours. What is your favourite flavour of cake lapis? I think the cake lapis that I like best is perhaps... I've tasted a strawberry one. It's very pinkish in colour. Just like this one? Just like that one, but it's more pinkish. Oh, ah, wow. Okay. And my favourite going to be the coffee flavour. Oh. I love the coffee flavour oh, wow. of this. I changed my mind now. I like the coffee flavour. <laughs> <favorite. laughs> yeah, so we have so many different types of cultural food. Well mm -hmm. done for tasting all of them and getting them right. Yeah, yes. great job everyone. And to remember that it is important for us to try and be brave and try different kind of food that we have in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go to this next activity which is the thumbs up and thumbs down. Okay. So can the kids please show me the sign that you have? which is the thumbs up and thumbs down. Okay. Ooh, maybe Shafika, you want mm -hmm. to join us as well? Of course, but teachers, I realised something. Mm -hmm. We let the kids eat some of the delicacies, yeah. but you both didn't. Oh, oh we're we busy did. talking, we forgot to taste. <laughs> oh, we forgot to taste, yes. Okay, well, would you like to try some? Oh, and I think... Um, give your opinions about it. Oh, I'm going to try the mooncake. Uh -huh. What are okay, you going to try? I'm going to try the cake lapis. Okay. All right. Oh, that is the pandan flavour, yeah, teacher? Yes, definitely. Mm, looks mm. nice. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't ask you to talk while we're doing this. But kids, do you have your um, uh, play cards ready to do this activity together? All right, there right. you go. It's okay. We'll wait for Miss Nazira and Miss Suji to finish eating. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, um, what do you think? Uh, what maybe you can share me uh, some of your favorite foods that you've tasted before from other culture? Ah, because just now I told you guys I like cheese naan. So maybe uh, can I have perhaps Aiden share what's your favorite food that you like aside from nasi lemak that you mentioned just now? Ah. 
Roti canai. Roti canai. Do you have wow. it every day? Everything? Uh, kinda. Oh, kinda. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Maybe not too much. Maybe just lessen a bit. Once in a while, right, teacher? Yes. Ah, okay. But it does taste nice. I agree with you, Aiden. All right. Are we ready to proceed? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. So right now we are going to our second activity. So you guys have gotten your thumbs up and thumbs down ready. So what's going to happen is I'm going to read out a situation for you and then have a think whether is it the right thing to do now. If it's the right thing to do, you show the thumbs up. And then if it's the wrong thing to do, show the thumbs down. So Shafika, pay mm -hmm. attention as well, okay? I will. <laughs> I'm focused there. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the first one on the screen. Oops, okay. sorry. Okay. So, at Mei Ling's birthday party, she invites all her classmates. She did not serve any beef or non-halal food to her guests. Do you think this is a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Show me your signs. Okay, I see two thumbs up, three thumbs up, four thumbs up. All of you gave me the thumbs up. Can I know why do you give me a thumbs up? Maybe I'll ask Divya. Why do you think it's a thumbs up? Because she might have classmates which are Muslim and Hindu, they cannot eat non-halal food and beef. Because oh. I am a Hindu and I cannot eat beef. Yes. Wow, that's a very good answer, Divya. Yeah. Yes, maybe we have classmates from different cultures or religious backgrounds. Like you, you do not eat beef. Friends, do you know that? So our Muslim friends can't eat non-halal food. And so friends like Divya who are Hindus, they can't eat beef. Good answer, Divya. Very good. Let's move on to the next one. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Okay, number two. Um, hinawa is a traditional Kadazan Dusun dish which includes raw fish and lime juice. Karim scrunched up his nose when Igat offered him Hinawa. Do you think this is the right thing to do or not the right thing to do? Show me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Oh wow, wow. I see four thumbs down mm -hmm. immediately spring up to the screen. May I know why? Adra, why do you think it's a thumbs down? And not respect Igat's culture. I feel bad for him. Oh, that's yes. very good, Adra. Mm. So you feel bad for Igat, right? Mm. If if someone were to scrunch up their nose when you offer them food, it's not a nice feeling. Yeah. So that's right. It's it's rude. It's impolite, and it may offend someone else. Teacher, Do you agree, friends? I agree. Well, Aiden, I see Aiden, Aiden I putting up his hand. You want to add Aiden? something, Aiden? Mm -hmm. My mom is from Sabah. She tried Hinawa before. Oh, oh wow! Do you okay. like it? Do you like it, Aiden? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Maybe I... not now, but later you can try again. You see, Wait. it's okay yes. to not like a food, but we don't um, show our dislike, right? Yeah. We don't scrunch up our nose so that we don't upset other people. Mm -hmm. Very yes. good, all of you. Teachers, may I share a bit before Ooh, this? this? Actually, I have a friend mm -hmm. that um, uh, I meet rendang for her actually because rendang is part of our tradition and then I shared with her in a box but then I noticed that she didn't eat it. Mm -hmm. So perhaps, uh, but she eats beef. Mm -hmm. It's just that she didn't tell me. She politely says that it's okay, I'll take the food but she gives it to someone else. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. she doesn't, she acts politely about it and doesn't offend my feelings at the same time. Mm -hmm. Is that the right way to do? Yes, it is one of the ways you have to say thank you to your, to the person that is offering you food yes. and then tell them whether you like it or you cannot eat it. Oh. But remember to not offend the person. Right. Okay, how, were, how was your feeling when you know that she did not eat it? 
I didn't ask her actually, but mm-hmm. I did not. Uh, I did tell her that maybe next time I'll make her something different that she likes. Oh, that's a very ah. good attitude to go about it. Okay. So don't so don't be discouraged. Share your food with your friends so mm. we can build better relationship with our friends. Because sharing is caring. Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay, kids. Uh, before we go any further okay. on our activities on the thumbs up and thumbs down, let's take a short break first. Maybe you can have a snack, a bite of it to. Um, Fresh enough, and then we'll see you right back after this on Teroka Dude TV KPM. Troker on Dede TV KPM and today's lesson is Bahasa English. We're learning about culture and food. Kids on the line, are you okay to start back our activity for today? Can you give me a thumbs up? Alright, all right, thumbs great. up. It's so oh. lovely to have you all here. Okay, Miss Nazira and Miss Uji, we can continue with the lesson. Alright, we are going to continue on the third question, which is. All right, it is the fasting month. It is Ramadan. And then Raju decided not to eat in front of his Muslim friend, a Muslim friends. Now, is that a thumbs up or, or a thumbs down? Can everyone please show me on the screen? I see one, two, and four. All right, so I see all four thumbs up. Now, can I ask Steve? Steve, why do you think it's a thumbs up? Because it's the right thing to do and it's a form of respect to his friends. Alright. Now, Steve, why do you think it's a form of respect? Why would, what would the friends would feel if you eat in front of them? Mm. We'll feel hungry. Alright, because they've been fasting all day, your friends yeah. might feel hungry. Alright, thank you, Steve. That's a great answer. Okay, we are going to the next question. Ah, oh, this one. When eating noodles, Sarah slurped very oh, no. loudly and then put a stick her chopstick onto the bowl of rice. Now, is that the right thing to do? Show me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Ah, Miss Shafika. I think it's a thumbs down. Oh, okay. I see one, two, three, four thumbs Yay. down. Miss Shafika, what do you think is a thumbs down? I think it's because uh, slurping very loudly is not nice to the ears. Ah. And also, when you stick the um, chopstick in the bowl, it doesn't look nice, right, kids? Right. Maybe we can have um, Aiden. Aiden, what do you think? Yes, Aiden. It is not the right thing to do as it is rude and impolite. But uh. teacher, I'm not sure what the sticking chopsticks in a bowl means. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe I can have Miss Suji explain. Miss Suji, okay. why is that? So, sticking your chopsticks into a bowl upright doesn't look very nice because it looks like um, how the Chinese would stick their joysticks while praying to the ancestors, oh. someone who has passed away. So, it is taboo. It's not nice to do that. Oh, so it's a culture inappropriation. Yes, yes. It's, a, it's a cultural inappropriation. That's okay. right, Miss Shafika. So previously, you have tried different cultural foods. You have also known, you have also learned like how to show appreciation and respect in the do's and don'ts activity. So now we are going to see how you practice respect in a little role play. All right. So everyone, you guys have already received an envelope, right? Now, can you please show me? Have you guys gotten your envelope? All right, one, two, three, four. All right, great job. Okay, now inside of the envelope, we have given you a situation. Now give it a think. Read your situation. Everyone, take out your, uh, take out your situation card. Okay, read it out, and then give it a think. What will you do now? All right. So I see everyone's reading. Okay. Now we are going to start with the birthday girl. All right, Adra. Yeah, Adra. <laughs> so Adra. Mm-hmm. Can you please read out your situation and then how would you respond? You are having a birthday party next. Who do you invite and why should you invite? Well, for your party. Hmm. 
Your cousin, your best friend, and who else? All of you to my birthday party. Oh, all of us! Oh, oh, so the wow. birthday party! That I is so sweet! I would love to attend that birthday party. <laughs> Definitely, we haven't been to a birthday party for, for so, so long. long. <laughs> and what will you serve, Adra? I will serve cheese, cheese, and also ice cream. Wow, Aww. brownies and ice cream, that's ice a great cream. combo. Mm -hmm. Adra, will be will there be anything that you will think about before serving? Wow, that is very good because mm -hmm. it is important for us to know whether our friends have any allergies before we ask. So not only should we consider the culture mm -hmm. and the religion, but we can also consider if someone is allergic to food. Right. Yes, before serving. So thank you, Adra. That is very impressive. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting us as well. <laughs> okay, so now uh, we are going to go to the next question. Uh, maybe we can have Divya. All right. All right, Divya. Can you please read out and uh, your situation and then what will you do? Okay. Your friend offered you to be your love provider. How do you respond and show respect? Hmm. I would say I'm sorry. I cannot eat beef rendang because I am a Hindu. I don't eat beef rendang. But thank you for the offering. Wow, that's a very polite response, mm. Divya. Even though you can't eat it, you did say thank you. I'm sure they would feel very appreciated too. Mm -hmm. Well done. Yeah. All right, teachers, now that we've heard responses from Adra and also Divya, let's take another student to read out his statement. Sure, maybe we can start with Aiden. Would you like to take out your envelope and see what you got? Read it out for us and how would you respond? Okay, Aiden. You have never eaten ayam pong teh before and your friend. Vicky offered you some. How do you respond while being respectful? Mm. Don't mind trying new food and I actually like it. So I will say thank you. Wow, wow that's a very good response, Aiden. Mm. I like how you are so readily um, able to try new food. Uh -huh. And that's what all of you did today. You all tried different cultural foods. That's yes. a very good attitude to have. Don't you think, friends? Yeah, we should yes. all have an open mind and try different foods. And be adventurous and also be brave to try, right, teacher? Yes, yes. definitely. Well done. Okay. Maybe we can have Steve next. Would you like to read for us what you got in your envelope? You are eating at the dining restaurant with your family. You notice your little brother is having trouble using the tricks. How do you respond? I would... I will teach him how to use the chopsticks. Actually, chopsticks are difficult to use at first. So I'll teach him how to use chopsticks. Oh wow, you'll teach him how to use the chopstick. Do you know how to use the chopstick? Oh, oh you have, have the chopstick. The chopstick. With wow. Maybe you can show us. Oh, wow. that's right. You like well done, Steve. <laughs> wow. Teacher, I would like to ask, sometimes uh, using chopstick can be a bit difficult. Would it be rude for us to, uh, at a restaurant to ask for a spoon instead? No, it's not rude at all. Mm -hmm. You can ask for a fork. Okay. You can ask for a fork or a spoon, something that is easier for you to use. Yeah. Uh -huh. But what is not right is you shouldn't make fun of someone who doesn't know how to use the chopsticks. Uh -huh. Right? I'm glad Steve did not say, I will make fun of my brother. <laughs> no, he's a good elder a brother. Good he teaches his younger brother how to use the chopsticks. So very good. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Good job, everyone. So you guys have given me great answers on how you would practice respect through food. And it is very important for us to actually show respect because we have so many cultures and so many religions in Malaysia. And respect is one way for us to achieve harmony in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Teachers, I noticed as well, um, maybe you have mentioned that it takes empathy to show respect, right? Yes. That means we need to understand what they have, the concerns they have, and also what they think about some certain things and their culture as well. 
So once we understand, then we can, like you say, we have to know first, right teachers? Yes, mm. and that is why it is important for us to learn about other people's culture. Mm. And that's why we want to know what can they eat, what are the taboos, especially the do's and don'ts, as, so that we can sit on the table together and have lunch and dinner. And so that is one way yes. uh, we can definitely achieve a harmony Malaysia. Okay. Yes, that's right. All right, teachers. So, what's our activity next after we've done reading our letters? Oh, we are actually at the end of our lesson. Oh, we yeah, have we can reached take a the short... end. All right, teachers. Uh, maybe we can uh, discuss a bit further on, on uh, our topic today, which is culture and food. But let's take a short break first. And for the kids out there, go eat some food, a light snack, and then come back to us on Trokadiri TV KPM. See you after this. TV KPM DD TV KPM Hello kids, welcome back to Teroka at DD TV KPM. Today we're exploring about culture and food in part of Pendidikan Civic and we've reached the end of the show but kids before that the most important part is to know what we learned today right teacher miss nazira and also teacher suji yes definitely yes. we want to before we end the today's lesson we want to remember what we've learned and maybe something that we take away from this lesson so we're going to share each one of us with suji and shafika mm -hmm. as well we're going, going to share two takeaways that we have from today's lesson so hey. my takeaway mm -hmm. is i found out what Hinawa is. It's my first time hearing about Hinawa. And then I've learned that I should never put up chopsticks onto the uh, rice bowl. Don't put it up right now. No, it's a definitely no, no, no. no. Okay. All right, how about you, Shafika? Well, first of all, I actually just learned that I never taste ladu, teacher. Ooh, ah. this is your first time. This, this will be my first time later. Um, perhaps I'm going to finish all four. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> and also, I learned that to understand uh, someone's culture, you have to really know their culture. It's not just about um, looking and knowing, oh, that's a nice food and all that, but know what they are against or what they can't eat and all those stuff, teacher. Yes, mm. the do's and don'ts are definitely something that we should all learn. Okay, mm -hmm. now maybe we can get Miss Yuji. What are your two takeaways? Um, my biggest takeaway is it's okay to not like a food. I mean, we all have different preferences. It's okay to say um, no sometimes, but how we do it is more important. We can say thank you for offering the food even though we may not like it, right? So we can still show respect towards the other person. Yeah, that would right, be my takeaway. Okay. Alright, thank you Miss Suji. That is very important to say thank you and also showing respect when people are offering you food. Okay, now we're going to go to all, all our amazing students that we have today. Mm -hmm. Alright, so maybe we can start off with, ah uh, yes, my favourite boy. No, not my favourite boy. Everyone is my favourite. Okay. <laughs> Steve. Alright, Steve, can you give me two takeaways please? Indian food can be sweet and, and, and every culture has a lot of food. Oh, right. Oh, wow. That's good, Steve. Yes. Um, we stated very sweet Indian food. And then, of course, we found out that even one piece of food can have many flavours. So, just like our mooncake can have like an egg and also pandan flavour. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So, maybe we can have Adra next. Adra. Okay. Can, okay. Can we have Adra repeat a bit back and then maybe move the mic closer to her mouth? Ah, speak a bit louder, Adra. Oh, Okay. okay, I heard that uh -huh. Adra said we need to respect all other people's cultural food and learn about it. Oh, all right, great. thank you so much, Adra. That is a great takeaway. Yeah. All right, so we are going to ask Divya. Divya, okay. what do you think? What are your two takeaways? Today, I learned that it was impolite to stick to chops. 
your little ball. And today, um, for the first time, I learned about Hina Park. <laughs> oh, okay. just like mine. Yes. Okay, that's great, uh -huh. uh, Divya. Okay, and last but not least, we are going to have Aiden. Aiden, please share our your two takeaways. Today, I learned there are so many different religions, mm. cultures, and food in Malaysia. And we need to be respectful and polite to everyone at all times. Wow, okay. that's a very good answer, Aiden. Mm -hmm. So, to wrap up today's lesson, yeah. all of you have given me such good takeaways. In the first part, where we tried different cultural foods, um, foods from a different culture, there are in fact so many more which we did not have the chance to try. We only tried four, but I'm sure there are many, many, many others. Many. And others. knowing it helps us to appreciate it more, and that unites us as Malaysians. Yes. And also, it's not just food, teacher. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of other things, perhaps clothing as well, like you're wearing today, yeah. uh, resembles the culture that we can respect and maybe try out. And oh. we can see there's a mix as well, just like my baju kurung right now. Of course. All right. So the next yeah. part, we ended up learning about the different situation that we may have or have not faced in uh, when we are facing with food and culture in Malaysia. So we uh, expresses our respect by showing our thumbs up or thumbs down to certain situation. Now, please remember, uh, we need to uh, show respect to other people, especially when they are sharing their culture with us through food. Yes, and in the final part, you have all responded so well by reading out your situation cards and thinking, how would you respond if you are in that situation? So you have done very well to show respect, not just in knowledge, but also in actions and in your words. So good job, all of you. Good job, uh, students and friends. Thank you so much, Aiden, Adra and Divya, and also Steve, uh, with your outfits appearing today, looking very nice and very, you know, um, neat. Um, thank you for answering all the questions and saying our activities today. And thank you so much, uh, Miss Suji and also Miss Nazira, for being with us today, learning uh, culture and food. I hope you all have had all the fun lessons today and also um, digest all the important tips and notes for today's lesson. Right, kids? And till we meet again after this on Troka on Didi TV KPM, thank you all for watching. Until next time, Assalamualaikum, Salam Sejahtera, and bye. Selamat Hari Raya, everyone. Bye. Hai, selamat Hari Raya. Selamat Hari Raya. Happy birthday, Adra. Oh, yes. <laughs> that too. <laughs>